Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4. So, uh, for those of you wondering about Generations, that will be up. Um, I'm going to try to get that up this week. Um, it's just been giving me a lot of problems lately, crashing and all that. But I am getting a new PC soon, so hopefully that that will fix those kind of problems and I'll be able to get that up more often. Um, plus, I just really wanted to play The Sims 4 lately, uh, since it is coming to an end, and it's just kind of exciting to me, I guess. Um, so anyways, Melody is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words you are cute written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? Let's just wait and see. Whoa. Um, oh my gosh, what is with all of these? Harmony is supposed to apply body paint to a model, but the model never showed. She realizes the only cho choices are to paint herself or cancel. Just paint. Put on the paint. All right, so Melody... Uh, sure enough, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie. One taunts. Melody wads up the note and tosses it at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. <laughs> and uh, Harmony makes a better painter than a canvas. The body art winds up looking muddled and splotchy. The magazine cancels the shoot anyway. Performance lasts so small. So that's that's fantastic. That's great. Um, and Peyton is most likely... Pretty positive, actually, that she's going to pass away in this part. So, yeah, I was reading the comments from the last part, and a lot of you guys are saying how sad you were, and that you were close to tears, and that you're really going to miss her, and that it, it made me happy in a, in a, in a way that you, guys, that you guys love Peyton as, as much as I do. <laughs> So that just happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's engrave. Rest in pieces. No. No. Here lies. Um I will just say Peyton West. Um, loving wife, mother, and, um, we'll just say loving wife and mother. That is so, so sad. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe that just happened. Like, this is real. We're not getting rid of her tombstone. No way. Mm-mm. I'm just... I didn't even want to talk while it was happening because I was so sad. Um, let's see, where should we put Peyton? <laughs> um, the backyard looks really gross, so we're going to put her out front, I guess. No, we'll put her right in front of this tree. Oops. Alright, and let's get like a few... Let's pretty it up a little so bit. this is what I did with Peyton's tombstone. Um, I just put some dirt down and I put some flowers and stuff around it. And it's right next to this tree and it's just, it's just so sad. But I mean, I know it happens. It's the Sims and it's, it's what happens, but I just, I don't know. Now Charlie and Lola are the only ones who witnessed it. Um, he didn't witness it, so he's not sad. And I think that's really stupid. <laughs> like, really, really stupid. Unless he just doesn't, um, I don't know, unless he doesn't, hasn't, doesn't know yet? I don't know. I feel like everybody in the family should be sad, not just people who technically... <gasps> no. No. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's milk it. What the heck? Charlie, are you- what? What the- not a good time, Sean. Really not a good time. Do not eat him again. I will be so mad. He squeezed out a mysterious fluid. Essence of sadness. Oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like in shock right now. I was not expecting that. I thought he was going to die too. And I was going to be like, oh my god, no. No, no, no. Alright, let's go and um, break up. What? No. Let's invite him in. Lola's too sad to elope with him. Oh my gosh, she's so sad. Her and Charlie are the, are the ones who are the most sad because they actually witnessed it. And, oh my god, it was really sad. You could hear Charlie crying and you saw Lola crying. It was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to Lucas leaving us. Oh, he's gonna wake up and mourn her. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Lucas. Lucas. Oh, he's so sad. Oh. This is seriously so sad though. Oh. I mean, I told you this, you guys, this would be a sad part because this because I knew this was going to happen and mm, it's just really sad. He's mourning her. Um, but I'm kind of excited for her ghost to, <laughs> her ghost to come out. I'm kind of excited for her to come out at night and see if she's a ghost and, um, we'll see how, um, how that works, how ghosts work because I've yet to, uh, have a ghost in my game. So I'm kind of curious how it works. Kelsey's like, what up, Gramps? What's wrong? Oh. She's like, it'll be alright. Oh, that was adorable. <laughs> That's adorable. Lola, why don't you, um... Oh, she's gonna go hug him. She's feeling very sad. We're gonna ask for his advice on what we should do to help alleviate some of our... Some of our sadness. And <laughs> this is so sad. Asked to move in. We probably could now that she's gone, but... Mm. Oh. Complain about our problems. It's so sad. It's really sad. Alright, we're actually going to have him wake up, though. And we're going to have him go and maybe upgrade some stuff and uh, see if we can get that skill up. Um, let's see. We'll upgrade the sink to be self-cleaning. He wants to call someone on the phone. Oh, I hate that sad music. It's, it's awful. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you're really sad, you can call the sadness hotline. So, so yeah, that's, that's an interesting feature that they added. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of sort of realistic in a way, but yeah. I am watching that cow plant through the window. I'm not even going to lie. That thing is scary. You are scary. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Now I'm terrified they're all going to like... Mm, they're all going to die from cow plant. All right, you finished that. He has a level eight right now. Um, a friend has passed? No, how about the love of your life? love of your life has passed. We're going to help them get through this. You can actually see the veins in his arms. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. He's talking about it with someone. Oh. Alright, that made him feel a little bit better. He's feeling pretty handy. Um, hopefully he'll, he'll get this soon enough. Um... Let's see, let's see. What else can we upgrade? We can make the toilet uh, superior flush, because why not? I was going to have him upgrade some stuff. I'm not going to let him to get too tired, because I don't want him to die or anything. But, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure elders can die if they're too tired. So, I'm going to be definitely careful with that. I really want Peyton to, like, 
come out and play. <laughs> Is that weird? I just really want to see her again. All right. So he finished doing that. So let's go have him. I'll have him do one more thing. We'll have him go to the shower and he will upgrade it to self-cleaning. And then I think we'll be done for the day. I'm actually going to skip to the morning and I might try to find a, a cool hangout for the teens oh, or, or something. Oh, actually I'll fix that too. Um, and I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try to find something fun for them to, to do. And, and they can go to like a community lot and, um, maybe they'll, they'll come together as a family and try to not necessarily get over Peyton's death, but they will, um, kind of band together and, and start to heal, I guess. So I will skip to the morning and I will see hey you guys. guys. So I decided to put Peyton's guitar next to her grave because I, I just think that's fitting. It was her favorite pastime was to play that guitar and it's hers. It's always going to be hers. And so I had, I have it next to her, next to her gravestone. So yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So it's Friday. 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 Go to school. Uh, she needs to get one skill to level three. Why is she doing so bad in school? She was like the perfect student. What happened? Oh, she didn't take her homework with her. That's cool. That's cool. But we're going to have her make some friends and we're going to have her make some friends because they, they really need to make friends. I did download a water park from the gallery that looks really, really cool. <laughs> so I'm going to have them go to that probably as well in this part. Uh, it looks really neat and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So where did he put that book? Let's go ahead and try to read it. All right, Gage starting work soon. And also there was a notification that, um, Lucas's final days were approaching and make the best of it. Yeah. And it's almost Harmony's birthday. She's going to be an adult soon, which is pretty crazy. This let's play. Everything is just like coming to an end and it's like exciting um, to end a let's play in some ways because then you can start like new let's plays and, and get to know new sims and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's really sad because you're leaving a family behind um, and it's just really sad. But maybe I'll do like a current household video in the future, like way in the future of whatever happened to the West family, like their legacy and all that. If you guys would like that, I think that would be, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, anyways, he's going to be studying that. He's so close. Well, he's not close, but he's kidding. He's working on his ninth bar, I believe. So we are actually making progress guys. And I'm hoping, um, that, I mean, we will have him earn it before he dies. I will use the, I'll use that potion to make him younger if I have to. Um, uh, so principals visit, uh, visiting Melody's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kids sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. But Melody has the worst school experience ever. I swear. Melody would be like, can you stop? <laughs> she would. Kelsey's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today and she's taking it earlier in the day. Kelsey could easily remember the questions and slip her friend the answers. She wouldn't help. She wouldn't. I mean, Kelsey's pretty, I don't see Kelsey cheating or anything like that. Um, all right. So Melody, Melody didn't get in trouble. Kelsey stands her ground. She can't risk her own grade after all. The friend doesn't like that. Swearing never to help Kelsey ever again. <laughs> what friend was that? Her pen pal from Barnacle Bay. Uh, we don't, we know nobody. We know nobody. <laughs> Seriously. Her pen pal from Barnacle Bay. Cause that's like her only friend and Oh my god, stop mourning her. It's so sad. He wants to call the sadness hotline. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. To be fair, he did actually see it. So, he saw it happen. So I think he is... Him and Lola are like more affected than really anyone. Alright guys, so he was just taking a little nap. And they're all gonna go out to... Or the ones that are home. Are going to travel to that lot that I was telling you guys about the water park. It looks super duper cool. So I'll invite everybody to come with us and um, hopefully everybody's bad day will will be better. Oh, Charlie and Gage are busy, but that's okay. Him and the girls will go. <laughs> Him and the girls. 
Um, I believe I put it in Oasis Springs. Yes, I did. Affluista. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of who made this. I'll go into the gallery and check because proper credit is due, of course. If you want to download this park, it is called the Surf and Turf Water Park. It was created by Sakura Leon or Sakura Leon. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that is their name right there. Um, and yeah, it just, it looks really, really cool. So I'm very excited about it. Um, <laughs> and, um, I'll show you guys the, the lot. Um, all right. So as you can see, there's a little pirate ship right here. It is really, really cute. Really cute. I love the pink. I didn't know that came with like a, a light color with pink. That's really cute. And, uh, there are bathrooms over here and a, why can't I think of what that is called? Brain fart monkey bars. There we go. Um, and there's like a fountain right here. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And, uh, what is this? Looks like some lockers. Oh, so these are, these are some fancy bathrooms. It's like a little locker room that you would change like at a water park. Oh my gosh. I haven't been to a water park since I was probably like, I don't know, 14 or something. It has been a long time. I should go. I should totally go. I love water parks and amusement parks and roller coasters and water slides, all that stuff. <laughs> I do. Um, and it looks like over here you can grill up some stuff. And this is very pretty. I love that with all the foliage and stuff and all the water in the background. Perfect. Just perfect. And the little gnome riding his, uh, oh, did that thing just move? I swear God, it just looked at me. <laughs> I'm not crazy. That thing moved. Okay. Even though we were in pause mode, I swear it moved. Um, and then there's a kitchen right here and ooh, a fully stocked bar. Holy. Oh my goodness. You could, <laughs> you could, uh, get get pretty tipsy there. It looks like, um, let's see what else, what else, what's over here. Okay. So there's a pool right here. Um, there's kind of a pool that goes along everything. It has like the rocks on the, I'm going to do that whenever I have a pool in my Sims in the future, they're going to have like rocks and foliage around it. That's super, super pretty. And these recliners. Oh, they put like a chair with like a little bench next to it. So it looks like a recliner. That is amazingly like people are so creative it blows my mind I wish I could be nearly as creative as some people because seriously jealous give me your skills give me your skills especially your building skills because I could use the, some of those <laughs> um this is a giant water slide um obviously it's not functional because you can't actually do that in the sims <laughs> yet hopefully they'll make a game pack or an expansion or something that adds kind of an island paradise thing with water slides and water parks. That would be, that would be really neat, like fully functioning water parks and amusement parks. Um, but it comes down into this pool right here. And yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, you can play chess over here and I'm just, I'm just in love with this lot. I love it. I love it. Um, especially the little playground for the kids. It's a really nice touch and I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend it. They even have, look at the little, like they made it. So you go and you have to like, check in or you have to like order your ticket again not fully functioning obviously but it's still really cool they made it look like you're going to an actual amusement park and that is that is really really neat so anyways getting back to the gameplay um they're all so sad kelsey because of her bad day at school because you know priorities and then um <laughs> everybody else is sad because of peyton so, so yeah, I don't know, but oh my God, this is just so cool. Like, look at all those fountains. It's so pretty. Ah, I love it. We're going to go ahead and swim around. Sadly, really let's swim around. Sadly, <laughs> this is so sad. Oh my God. He's going to be mean to a little kid. Um, be rude to a little kid. I know you're hurting over Peyton, but there's just, there's no need for it. Why don't you go swimming with your family? Swim some laps. She is so sad. She's swimming around, sadly. Oh, she reached fitness level three. You go, girl. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to use that Instaline potion on her as well. Actually, I think I'm going to go get that right now. Reward store. Hopefully she can afford it. E. I don't know if she can. Moodlet solver. Uh, Instaline. There we go. 
Yes, because a lot of you guys really want me to use that. And I have been wanting to make her thin for like the whole Let's Play, and it hasn't really happened. Um, so, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and have her drink that. Uh, yeah, we'll have her drink it. Can she actually drink it in the pool? Probably not. Probably not, no. Oh, you can get out here, too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, there are so many Sims. Can I just say, the Sims 4 community lots work amazing. They are always a bunch of Sims there, whereas Sims 3, there was usually nobody there. <laughs> nobody there. So, oh my god, I was not paying attention to that, and now I'm looking at her, and I'm like, oh my god, Lola. Lola, what happened to you? <laughs> Look how different her face looks. Well, she's making a really sad face because she's upset about her mom. But if she would stop making that face, we could actually see. She looks just like Peyton. That is real. Oh my gosh, that is so freaky. She looks just like Peyton. If you guys remember what Peyton looked like in the very beginning of this LP, she pretty much looked exactly like Lola. So that is, oh my gosh, that's crazy. She's tired, but oh well. Um, oh well. Sorry. Alright, so they're all swimming around. Are you gonna swim? Go swim. Ooh, swim around playfully. Do it. Swim around playfully. I love her swimwear. It is adorable. It's like this coral color with these, like, turquoise or... I don't know exactly what color it is. Little polka dots. And her glasses match that color. And she's just... She looks amazing. Swim in, in, into your, literally into your grandfather. Yeah, that's one Sims 4 glitch that there is where they walk pretty much through each other or through other objects, but that's kind of just a Sims thing. <laughs> but look how pretty this water looks. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love how the water looks. I know I'm just like talking up a storm about how much I love this game, but I really do. And it is just a game. It's just a it's just a game <laughs> it's just a base game so you do run out of stuff to do after a while but you know that's just that's what expansion packs and stuff are for and i definitely recommend the sims 4 to you guys because it's definitely worth it yeah we didn't get pools in the base game but we got it in a free update and we haven't gotten toddlers yet but i'm hopeful that they'll release something in the future that will give us toddlers i i really do think that they will uh, because they are listening to us they're giving us stuff that we Stuff that we want. They're listening to us. So, so yeah. Just like, get to work. Everybody everybody was saying that they wanted Open for Business from Sims 2 back, and that's kind of what they're they're trying to do for us with that expansion. I think they're, I think they're trying to listen to us. So, anyways. Are you going to splash her? You need to splash. Hi, random lady. Can you not <laughs> splash your daughter? Just splash her. Where the heck did she go? Oh my god, where did she go? Oh. Oh, she reached something. Something? What did she get? Motor level. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, so she won't splash her. I don't know why, but it's really driving me insane. It's driving me nuts. Alright. Well, it's just not gonna happen, I guess. What a day of work. Charlie is back home and blah blah blah. What has Lucas been doing this whole time? He's gonna go hug his daughter. You guys, this is such a sad part. Like, I'm trying to make people happy by, like, having them at this amusement park, but... It's just not happening. Everybody's really upset, especially like Lola. Lola's just Oh, Lola's really tired. So they're probably going to head to head home soon. Um but anyways, I'm probably going to end this part here, guys. So if you liked it, go ahead give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And um I will see you guys next time. Bye.